Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are gonna learn about half lines function. There are two type of half lines function. This is the first one which is the standard one and this is the second one which is probabilistic half transform function. Since this is the optimized version of this one, we are gonna continue, we are gonna focus on this function. Uh, simply half lines function finds the lines inside the image, but the parameter you are giving as input are the critical one, the important one, because the better inputs you are giving, you are gonna get the better outputs. So uh, let's continue with the parameters. There is also an example here. This is the image, the first one, which is a bit single channel image should be, but at the same time it needs to be binary image. The lines which is gonna give us as output in a vector uh, type and it's, it will including it will be including four flood type of element inside which is describing our points. This is the first of all x1 and y1 is gonna give us the starting point of each line and x2 and y2 is gonna give us the ending point of each line. To give an example, for example, if this is a line. It's this x1, y1, x2, y2 is gonna be the this one and the ending point so I'm able to draw my line. Rho and theta I'm not gonna talk about these two parameters. If you are interested with them you can check this post. I'm gonna put to description of this video this link so you can check it. Threshold is the accuracy parameter of this function. The bigger value you are giving you are gonna get less lines the most accurate lines you are gonna get according to the half transform the minimum line length the for example if you talk about this image the minimum line you want to get you need to describe for example if you give uh, bigger than this length of this line then it's not gonna detect this line so it's a filter we can say maximum line gap uh, we can give also an example Think about dash lines there are gaps between lines in the same uh, directory so the the how many gap you want to give as an option to this function so if you give uh, bigger values to this parameter it's gonna uh, combine the lines in the same directory maybe we can understand more in the code part okay let's pass to the code part uh, in this video, I'm gonna try two examples. This is the first one, the easiest one, and this is the second one, which is a real-world example. And here, I'm gonna try to detect these lines of highways. Okay, uh, since I don't want to uh, bother you, I already coded, and I'm just gonna talk about on the code. First of all, I'm reading my image, then I'm converting it to gray scale image single channel image then I'm thresholding because it's the function required to get a binary image so I'm thresholding to be able to more uh, smooth input I'm making a simple median filter here then uh, after that I'm calling my function this is the output I want to get and this is open CV type as I said for this is gonna be including each element of this vector at the end is gonna be including the starting and the ending point of each line first of all I'm giving my input my output and this is the suggested parameters for rho and for theta and this is the accuracy value and this is the minimum line length in the pixel type uh, I want to get 10 pixel I defined we can change later and this is the minimum uh, the maximum gap between the lines uh, if this is I'm defining zero because uh, there is no dash line in my uh, input image for now but in the second image we can change this also then um, uh, after that for I'm checking each element of this lines output then I'm gonna drive my lines uh, I'm gonna drive on this one more easy to see and after that this is my starting point lines for each element of lines I'm getting zero because it's gonna be like this x x1 y1 and the second point is gonna be x2 and y2 so this is x1 and this is y1 same uh, this is x2 and this is y2 others 
just the rowing parameters. And let's see the output. Uh, as you can see here, my input, which I'm giving the half lines, half lines function, and this is the output, uh, which is I'm drawing in the red lines. This is my output, so it's able to detect each of the lines. So if I want to, for example, let's say I want to filter the small lines, uh, approximately its length is 200. So let's say if I'm giving my minimum line length 300, it's gonna filter the small lines as you can see in the image. So now it's filtering these small lines. And um, we cannot explain this parameter in here because even you give 100, it's not gonna change anything because it means if there is a dash line or there is some line which is um, uncompleted, so it's gonna help you to complete that lines. You giving this parameter bigger is not the suggested one. The smaller values is better in many cases if you are not such making uh, big distances between lines. Okay. And uh, this is the accuracy value we already talked. Uh, maybe if you increase this really high, you are gonna get nothing. Maybe let's try. If you get 900, yeah, it's not able to detect at all. Let's make 300. And now it's able to make 500. And yeah, now it's not able to detect these small. It's only detecting these ones. Yeah, this is the threshold accuracy parameter. We can say let's leave it at 100. And then uh, let's start to play with the second image which is this one and uh, in here you see the way but um, I need to maybe not inverse but binary is gonna be better for this case yeah now I need to detect the white lines first of all I need to fix my threshold value because there are many noises maybe 180 Let's see the result. Okay, 180 is better. Now it's able to detect lines, but there are also noises. How to decrease it? Uh, maybe the length, the minimum length should be, let's say, 700. There are still, let's make 1000. Okay, there is still, okay, it's detecting this, but there are still noises, maybe one. 1200 okay sorry this is the, not the line length this is the threshold accuracy value of this what else we can decrease I mean let's back to normal sorry maybe let's make 900 again there are still noises maybe you can eliminate it with this uh, minimum line length also let's say 700 yeah, it's also helping to eliminate. There are two cases. You can increase the threshold, which is the uh, better one. And also you can play with the distance to be able to detect lines. So it's able to detect with this input. And I uh, like that. We already uh, checked two examples. And in this video, simply I want to talk about half lines function. See you in the next videos.